Hello everybody, Skylander Xeon here, and it is time for our next series to start. Today, we will be starting the game that seemingly a lot of you love based on the PS5 Trap Team testing. But today we're starting Trap Team. I am playing on PS5, yeah, whatever. But I'm excited. I am definitely excited because I love Trap Team. Trap Team is probably my second favorite game, if you can't tell by the fact that I'm going to drive myself insane trying to get all the traps. But yeah, here we are. Trap Team, let's go. We have Nightmare Mode unlocked, so let's go ahead and do it. <sighs> I'm gonna regret this. Let's go. Greetings, Portal Master. I am Eon, and I have come to guide you on a great journey. Welcome to Skylands, a magical world of wonder and adventure, protected by the greatest heroes ever known, the Skylanders. <laughs> But Skylands wasn't always so peaceful. Once it was held in the vicious grip of the most notorious evildoers Skylands has ever known. The Doom Raiders. <laughs> Striking from their hideout, deep in the savage badlands, the Doom Raiders plundered without mercy until no place was safe. <laughs> Fortunately, an elite team of Skylanders, wielding legendary weapons, was called upon to track down these villains and bring them to justice. They were... The Trap Team. Once captured, the Doom Raiders were taken to the most impenetrable fortress ever constructed, Cloudcracker Prison. Locked away behind walls of pure Traptanium, the Doom Raiders would never again threaten Skylands. <laughs> or so it seemed for many years, until a familiar evil returned. <laughs> the Trap Team was hurled far away from Skylands, and as they were drawn away from its magic, they began to shrink. Meanwhile, the shattered fragments of Cloudcracker Prison were transformed into powerful traps, but now you have found them. And just in time, Skylands' most infamous evildoers are on the loose again. It is up to you and your Skylanders to track them down before it is too late. A great adventure awaits you, Portal Master. Behold. As head of security and secret ninja commando operations, <laughs> let me welcome you to the grand opening of Skylander Academy. Oh boy, this is great, Callie. I mean, a new Skylander headquarters? There hasn't been one in ages. I know, Hugo. And Buzz is the most legendary Skylander trainer ever. But there's something familiar about him. Yeah, I know what you mean. I've seen his kind before. Big show off. Jeez, is he still talking? With the opening of the new Skylander Academy, may it usher in a new age of safety, security, and... Losers! Holy guacamole! That thing landed smack dab in the middle of our annual soda festival. Stay put, folks, while the Skylanders and I check it out.
to where my Skylander operative is. Well, for the start of a new series, you might be wondering who is going to be the first character on the portal. But for Trap Team, I feel like there's only one option. Like, if you're not familiar with these series, I should explain that I introduce characters based on when they're released. So, well, the first character to release is technically the first character that's in the starter pack. We've got Snapshot. I, I should say, for this series, I did actually go through the effort of leveling up characters. The lowest level you should see, if I remember correctly, is 5. So, uh, yeah, I actually went through and did that. You're welcome. Boomsticks. That's a Skylander, all right. My name's Buzz, head of security and secret ninja commando operations around here. <laughs> now, how's about we go investigate all this ruckus? Yeah, um, so, <laughs> Trap Team, what can I say? It just, it's one of my favorite games, it's got such a great mechanic, I know it gets a lot of hate, but I love it, and I always will. I mean, why else would I drive myself insane to collect 66 traps? I actually genuinely have no explanation for that. <laughs> but there you go, first treasure chest already. I know this level like I know the back of my hand, so, uh, I feel like I should go for 100% right now with this level specifically, but at the same time, I don't know, because, like, content. So, let's just do what I remember off the top of my head. I know I missed a coin, whatever. There you go, backwash spillway. In fact, now that I think of it, we won't be able to get 100% this level because, uh, we would need an unknown element trap master, which, um, everyone knows what the element is, but, yeah, whatever. Let's just proceed as planned. So, one thing I will say about Soda Springs as opposed to the typical starter level for Skylanders is that you do not encounter any regular enemies at first. Your first enemy, we're about to see, but it is not the typical Chompy, which, honestly, that's shame. Instead, we fight this. This may look like an ordinary harmless little sheep, but I can personally assure you that sheep creep here is bad news. In fact, he's supposed to be in Cloudcracker Prison for leading an ill-fated sheep rebellion. But hey! This gives us a perfect opportunity to practice our trapping skills. Go ahead and take them down for me, will ya? <laughs> Sheep Creep. So, we're about to fight Sheep Creep, but one thing I should probably do first is... They're... Okay, if you've played Trap Team, you know this, but the portal talks to you, and I should probably turn up the portal volume, that way it can actually be picked up. So yeah, I usually have it low. Okay, yeah, that can be picked up perfectly fine. So yeah, um, tr Snapshot's a Trap Master, this is gonna be extremely easy. In fact, let's do it without getting hit. Never mind, we can't do it without getting hit. Let's just trap him. Sheep creep defeated. So you might be thinking, of all the traps I own, what trap will be used for sheep creep? Well, literally, there's one in the starter pack, so why would not use that? Sheep creep trapped. <laughs> and, I mean, yeah, there's only one option. <laughs> and there you go, sheep creep has been trapped. It is gonna get annoying holding the portal up, but whatever. That's what I gotta do to make content. <laughs> so yeah, just explaining the tag team mechanic, but... 
We've also got more characters to introduce. We've got three more, and it's not a long level, so let's switch to our second starter pack character. Let's go with the boy. Let's go with Food Fight. Once again, level 10. There you go. I should say, the reason these are such low levels for the starter pack characters is because I got the Dark Edition upon launch. I have these figures, obviously, but the Dark Edition figures will be coming in later episodes. I actually don't know when they're planned to come in, but they're happening. I promise that much. And there you go, Winged Sapphire. 2% discount. Except we don't know that yet, technically, so whatever. I should really emphasize that these... This level in particular doesn't have much combat, so I can't really showcase these characters to their full potential. Obviously, I just showcased Snapshot a little bit, he's got his arrows and everything. But as of now, there's just nothing to fight. So while the characters are introduced, I'll have to go more into depth about their gameplay later. Luckily, we do have a combat section right here that should give us plenty of opportunity. sure what Traptanium would be doing here, but I know that only the righteously awesome power of a Trap Master's crystal weapon can break it open. Okay, so food fight. Also a sheep, yeah. But food fight, he's got tomatoes, he's got a zucchini blast, and he's got artichoke bombs. Just... Some people don't like food fight, and I mean, I respect that and everything, but personally, I really do enjoy the character. But the thing that's the main attraction here is sheep creep. So we've got court guns, which you can just hold the button down. We've got an explosion. And I mean, we've just got a great character here because who doesn't love sheep creep? Actually, most people, but like, that's not me. You will notice if you've not played this game that the villains are in fact on timers rather than health parts. You lose time as you get hit, and let's just demonstrate it because, I mean, why not? There you go. Once the timer runs out, you're forced to switch. And the villain yells at you. But the timer will recharge over time, and that's perfectly fine. But, as you can see here, we do have some Traptanium to break open. So, let's go to our next character. In some areas, there was a character that was a pre-order bonus for Skylanders Trap Team, so let's show off that. All geared up. We've got Gear Shift. Honestly, I'm not a huge Gear Shift fan personally, but she's fine. So we've got actually a very gimmicky character. So as you can see, I've got this attack, whatever, but you can also switch modes. And now you've got somewhat of a swashbuckler. And now you've got a projectile character. And through it all, Gearshift also has this roll attack, but that's like the least interesting thing she can do. But yeah, honestly, while I'm not a huge fan of her, she is definitely a character that deserves some love. But let's just go ahead and get this treasure chest that she doesn't really need. Precious metals. I'm gonna have to get used to being interrupted by the villains because that is actually very loud. <laughs> but let's just go on. And we've got a water gate, but we've already used snapshot, so let's not switch. If you really want to stay ahead of the game, you'll need to check out these elemental gates. It can only be opened by a trap master of that same element, and when they are, boomsticks! You now have access to a brand new area which contains a magical hat. Why do you want a magical hat? <laughs> because they're awesome! And they make you stronger. That's the magical part. 
Okay, so yeah, we can get a magical hat, but we're not going in that one. And we're getting interrupted by Buzz again. So, let's progress. And we've got our first soul gem of the level. But, as of now, it looks like we can't access it because we actually have to access it from down here. Also, okay, I guess the light element transfers over from my other save file. Good to know. The name Fwyn comes from the ancient Archean word for awesome. Uh, in fact, uh, Archeans have over a hundred words for awesome, and all of them are Fwyn. <laughs> Trap Team has the worst story scrolls, I'm just gonna be honest here. But we've got Blade's Soul Gem, so that's a great start. Instant Swirl Shards, let's go, and let's preview him. So obviously Blades is a character that will be introduced alongside the Nightmare Express Adventure Pack, so we've got a while before we see him again. Oh well. Just let's progress on with the level. But let's unlock this gate and do that and everything. And then let's come back out to fight the enemies, because I feel like we should just at least do one gate an episode. I'll try to make that a goal. I'm already glad that these episodes will be a lot shorter than Swap Force, at least the beginning, because, uh, I mean, hey, it wasn't really fun sitting down for 50 minutes straight. Okay, I enjoyed the game and everything, I enjoyed recording the series, but sitting down for 50 minutes straight, I have better things I can do with my time. So let's go along and get this magical hat. Ah yes, the bucket hat, what everyone truly needs. There you go, and it actually looks kind of nice on Gearshift, not gonna lie. Nice. But anyways, as you probably remember, because it happened like a minute ago, we've got some enemies waiting for us outside, so I think it's time we introduce our next character. This character is not related to the starter pack in any way, I just wanted to introduce him. We've got Chopper. So Chopper's got missiles, he's got a fly, or he can fly, whatever. He can hold down the missile button to sh shoot out two larger missiles, yes that's always nice. He's got a missile barrage, which is definitely useful. And he's got a spin, I should also sh say he does have a roar. Just, Chopper is such a unique character that, honestly, I love him. Great guy. And we're about to be introduced to our next villain. And strange thing is, he's supposed to be locked up in Cloudcracker Prison too. Something very peculiar going on here, and I suggest we get to the bottom of it. Pronto! Soda! I must have soda! So now we've been introduced to the Gulper. And honestly, Gulper, a lot of people don't like Gulper, but I still wish he was the Water Sentinel Sensei. Like, that would have been so nice to get a Gulper figure. And yeah, I mean, I'm happy with Grave Clobber, I'm happy with what we've got, but come on, Gulper would have been nice, right? 
I'm not the only one that thinks that. I probably am the only one that thinks that. Uh, we cannot play Skystones yet, so let's just move on. And let's just make our way through, destroy this vat, and there you go. The roar is actually quite powerful. Also, uh, I'll introduce what that is later because I already took the trap out of the portal. So, like, next time I see one, I'll probably do that. But yeah, you can probably notice already that there isn't much combat in this level, just... It's basically a tutorial, as a first level should be. Just making sure you understand how to trap, making sure you understand how to platform. You know, just the basics. But that's why I love it so much, just... I do think Trap Team has great level design. A lot of people don't think that. Like, I personally think that it's got very unique levels to it that I just love. I love the charm that Trap Team has, and it'll stay that way. So let's just destroy this as well. And Missile Barrage, because uh, why wouldn't I? There you go. So I did see a soul gem down here. Let's just go ahead and grab Jawbreaker. Hypercharged Haymaker and let's go. So, now it's time for us to defeat Gulper. And if you're expecting an epic boss battle, well, not really. Instead, we're just gonna push some things around. Just had the most awesome idea, even for me. See these two vats here? This orange ambrosia cooler was named Soda of the Year. The other green stuff is bottom feeding suction eel flavored. Tastes even worse than it sounds. But if we can switch them up and trick the gulper into drinking the eel stuff, it might just bring him down to size. Okay, so like I said, we literally just push things around. You push this off the cliff. There you go. Step one. Then you push this over to the edge. Step two. And voila, you've done it. Defeated. So it's time to trap our water villain, and let's just use the classic water tiki. Stay back, swirly thing! Hey, my trident! I just wanted to drink soda! And there you have it! Soda Springs has been saved, and we can move on. Gulper no understand all these funny words. Gulper not exactly detail-oriented. So yeah, thank you guys for watching episode 1 of Skylander's Trap Team. I'm really excited to finally be getting this series out because, like, I just love Trap Team and I love an excuse to replay it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. If you like the con- Ah. If you like the content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. That's what I'm supposed to say. That's my outro. Yeah. Peace out.